Okay, in this video I'd like to show you how we can create an advanced aura using the Erasmus Studio. And this aura is going to have traffic light options to review how well a student thinks they understand a certain topic. And this is really useful for differentiation. So what I've created is this, which will be our trigger image. Um, so we're going to be looking at the topic of adaptation. And what's going to be overlaid over the top of that is going to be some traffic lights um, saying how well a student understands. It might be, I really, I really get this, or I might need a little bit more help with this, or I'm really stuck and I don't understand it at all. Um, so green for I, I get it, amber for eh, it's not too bad, and then red for I'm really stuck. So I've already uploaded the trigger and the overlay up to the Erasmus Studio. So here we go. In the trigger images, I think I called it how well. So let's search for that. Yeah, and there it is. No problem. Uh, the overlay, I think I called it traffic lights transparent. So what I did with the traffic lights is um, I just did a couple of circles and typed some text into them. Uh, and then I used clippingmagic.com to remove the background. So instead of getting a horrible white border, we've got these, these nice floating, floating circles. So this is all about using layers and overlays. So let's have a look, traffic lights. Traffic lights transparent, there they are, good. And the next step is to bring those two together and create our aura. So we're gonna add a new one. And let's call it uh, how well adaptations. That makes sense, adaptation, that'll do. We're gonna select the trigger image, which will be how well adaptations. We're going to stick it on my channel, which is Mr. Pollock's channel. Uh, we're not going to set any time restrictions. There's, there's no real point in that. Uh, overlays. So let's choose our overlay. So we're going for traffic lights. Oops. Should probably load those first. Traffic lights transparent. So that looks a bit awful, really. So let's let's resize this, make it look a little bit nicer. That's probably about right. Maybe a bit bigger. There, there we go. So there we go, that looks quite nice. The problem is we can't just add a hyperlink to that overlay because um, then it would just link to one place. In fact, let's let's do something else with it. Let's add a little bit of a 3D effect to it. So bring up the 3D menu, hold H to have all of your commands come up down the side. We want to move that in, uh, in the Z axis. So let's hold Z, and drag it out and make it float just a little bit, not too much. That will do. Okay, um, from that point we have to add some invisible overlays and they will become our trigger to go to different places. So add overlay, we'll just change the colour of that overlay for reference. Um, the green overlay now we're going to look at, we're going to choose uh, invisible overlay, it's right at the bottom of the list. So these are automatically created by Erasmus, so you don't need to worry about making your own invisible overlays. So all it's a case of doing is resizing it to be around, ooh, there's the school bell, uh, resizing it to be around the right size. Because it's 3D, it's worth going a little bit over because it's going to be brought back up off the page. Um, and then I'm just going to add a couple more for the other the other buttons. So invis again. There we go. I'll label this one as yellow. And move that into place. Now notice as well that I haven't used red for the, uh, the this is tricky option. I don't like red as a colour, I think it's too negative, so really amber is probably the best colour, so it's not not a proper traffic light as such, um, but there we go. And one final one, we'll have that as, it doesn't matter what it is on this really, but an invisible overlay again. So each one of these these overlays, these invisible ones, they're going to link to different places. I tend to do for the This Is Tricky one, I tend to find a nice YouTube video that explains it pretty well. So let's add a, an action to that. When overlay is tapped, load a URL, and here we go, I've found a nice video by the free eSchool, great YouTube channel, and all I've got to do is copy and paste the URL into there, press save, and we're good. So let's do the yellow one next. Now for this one, I'm going to link to uh, something from my Google Drive. Um, make sure your, set, your sharing set, settings are set up pretty well for this, so you need to have it such that if you want to share, it needs to be private so that people just can't access it anyway, but so anyone who's given the link can view it. That's what I do. 
There we go, there's the middle one, so like a foundation level worksheet. Save that. Then the next thing to do is the extension. So extension in this case is going to be some exam questions. It's not particularly innovative, but uh, it'll do. It'll do for this demonstration. So here we go. Grab that link, drop it into the studio, hit save. Okay, so that is your overlay completely done. Now I'm hoping I'll be able to demo it because what I've done is I've created a little printout of my overlay. So I'm hopefully going to be able to mirror my iPad to my laptop, which will mean that uh, the screencast should record it. So this hasn't been tried before by me. But let's uh, let's give it a shot. So really, um, you just need to. In fact, I'll do it from my phone. It's probably just just as easy. So let's join the Wi-Fi network. There we go. And now I've just got to go find my laptop on the AirPlay. AirPlay, my laptop. Type in the password. And fingers crossed, there we go. So I'm going to open Erasma. And there's my trigger. So let's hopefully scan it. And there's my overlay. So if I do that portrait, you can see that a bit better. You can see the 3D effect pretty nicely. So if I tap on this is tricky, it's going to link me to that YouTube video. Scan it again. If I tap on I mostly get it. It's going to link you to the, the foundation set of questions. And if I was to tap the last one, which the the I really get it, it's going to take me to um, my set of practice questions and I think this is a really great tool for reviewing understanding and allowing students to self differentiate because you're not going to have loads of paper based resources to print and then have to recycle loads of them when students choose different tasks so thank you for watching any questions uh, feel free to comment or follow me on Twitter if you've not already done so thanks very much bye bye